Good morning, everybody. My name is uh, Maurizio Muscaritoli. I am professor of internal medicine at uh, Sapienza University in Rome, Italy, and I am the ASPEN coordinator for the Oncology Practical Guideline. Let me first thank ASPEN, ONCA, and MNI for the kind invitation to join this session today. Some uh, years ago, we performed together with uh, ECPC a survey in uh, cancer patients and survivors. The survey clearly indicated that patients and physicians have significantly different perspectives on the nutritional aspects of cancer and its therapy. Nearly all respondents, in fact, recognized the importance of adequate nutrition during therapy and why the majority of respondents had experienced feeding problems during cancer therapy. More than 50% of them reported that their physician had not asked them anything about feeding issues. So this was another evidence of how nutritional and metabolic issues remain an unmet need for most cancer patients. In 2017, ESPEN published the ESPEN guidelines on nutrition in cancer patients, which were coordinated by Jan Arendt. This was a challenging and exciting experience I shared with a number of uh, esteemed colleagues and good friends. As you can see, this paper has a lot of citations. And I can tell you that the number of citations is going steadily up every day. Now, I will introduce the uh, practical guidelines on clinical nutrition in cancer, which consist of 43 recommendations and uh, which is based on uh, the um, ESPEN guidelines on nutrition in cancer patients, uh, uh, which were coordinated by Jan Arendt. The original guidelines were shortened by restricting the commentaries to the gather evidence and literature on which recommendations are based on, but recommendation were not changed and presentation of that content was transformed into a graphical presentation consisting of decision-making flow charts, which I will go to briefly introduce to you. So this is the main flow chart. You see on the top clinical nutrition in cancer, and we have on one side the general concepts of treatment relevant to all cancer patients, and on the other side the interventions uh, relevant to specific patient categories. So not only this is the main flow chart, but in the uh, digital version of these uh, guidelines, uh, this will represent a navigation menu. In fact, you will you can go into the specific uh, uh, sub chapters just clicking on the box on one of these boxes uh, on the, on the screen. Among the general concepts of treatment relevant to all cancer patients, of course, uh, of major relevance, uh, we found uh, screening and assessment and energy and substrate requirements. And you know how the attention is focused on abnormal screening and weight loss. According to the presence or absence of weight loss, the user will be directed on one side or another. Uh, to, again, with general concepts of treatment relevant to all cancer patients, nutrition intervention on one side and, of course, on the other side, exercise. Uh, nutritional interventions are divided into oral nutrition and medical nutrition. Uh, of course, we recommend that uh, uh, nutritional needs are met by oral nutrition, if not uh, or nutritional needs may, may, may be met uh, uh, by the use of uh, medical nutrition, either andro or parenteral nutrition, if uh, oral nutrition remains inadequate despite nutritional interventions such as counseling or oral nutritional supplements. And a focus is put also on exercise, which represent a main anabolic stimulus, uh, which may uh, facilitate the incorporation of nutrients uh, within muscle. How about the intervention relevant to specific patient categories? Uh, in the field of medical oncology, for example, uh, the setting of curative or palliative anti-cancer drug treatment 
or the setting of high dose uh, chemotherapy and hematopoietic stem cell transplantation with different uh, um, aspects and different recommendation uh, in uh, for nutritional therapy. Uh, also for agents with insufficient proof of effectiveness on one side and on the other side, exercise and nutritional therapy, and again, agents with insufficient proof of effectiveness as indicated by the experts. Uh, again, interventions uh, relevant to specific patient categories. Uh, on one side, uh, cancer survivors, those patients who are uh, after the disease and uh, for, for whom uh, lifestyle recommendations are present. Uh, of course, healthy lifestyle, exercise, and uh, on the other side, patients who find themselves in the palliative, palliative situation where nutritional therapy or hydration should be delivered according to the patient's conditions, patient's and family expectations. And of course, we recommend that in the palliative situation, both nutritional therapy and hydration are discussed either with the patient or with the family and caregivers. So how do we uh, plan to implement uh, diffusion uh, of uh, these guidelines? In uh, this will be done through different strategies. First of all, a paper will uh, appear in clinical nutrition in a few weeks containing the shortened version of the guideline. Then an app for Android and Mac iOS will be created. A web-based version will be soon available on the Aspen website. Uh, we also uh, plan to um, create a patient version in collaboration with patients' organizations, and the translation into different languages will be possible upon request, and it is strongly encouraged by Aspen. So, I thank you very much for your attention.